Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Parkside Cabin Rentals. With fall approaching, folks, there's no better place to go than to the Smoky Mountains, Sevier County. All the great locations that, that are covered by Parkside Cabin Rentals, they've got hundreds. <laughs> I mean, literally it's dozens and dozens and dozens of cabins up there. You can see all the layouts at their website. Pick the one you like. Uh, Sterling, you went up there and, and rented from the Ogle family, yes, Parkside yes, Raceway. You, you liked it, did you not? I had a good time. Yeah, Parkside Cabin Road, they're very nice. I mean, yes. you can go check it out for yourself. they got pictures of all of them. Great locations and free parking in downtown Gatlinburg whenever you stay with Parkside Cabin Rentals. All right, the Smoky Grays are back. There they are. Some of us look at those and just think, Butch Jones. But they're <laughs> back anyway. Uh, part of that, you know, we were talking about production lines and transportation issues. Part of the reasons Tennessee is bringing this back this year and not going with a different gray is because they had a hard time getting some of the new stuff made. So they've said that over the next three or four years, they're going to continue to wear gray, but uh, it may be different uniforms. So it's not necessarily going to be this one. Uh, Ryan Callahan just pointed out to me in, uh, in between segments here that Tennessee also came out this week and said they still have the blacks available this year. So the black uniform they wore last year, they could wear that. So they could wear smoky gray, they could wear black. Uh, but moving forward, it does sound like they're going to do this gray thing. Uh, <laughs> regardless, Sterling Hinton, you a fan of it? I love it. I love it. I mean, I, I, lo I love the, the, the various the variance of uniforms. I love it. You know, uh, it's amazing, though. A lot of guys I play with, we go back and forth and have a little soap opera, soapbox about it. Yeah. But uh, I love it. I mean, it gets, and then to get the guys more involved and excited about playing, get the other team something else to think about, and get the fans involved in the game, I love it. Marlon? Not a big fan. Not a big fan. I know I'm a, a young cat up here, but for me, it's still uh, when I signed on to go play at Tennessee, I thought orange and white stripes coming down the pants. Um, if I wanted to gimmick stuff, then you look more towards a Oklahoma State, that sort of deal. And so I'm a little bit afraid of us getting into that where now all of a sudden you've got the black, you've got the gray. All right, what's next? Uh, and so now we look like more of a gimmicky team. And for me, Tennessee tradition, uh, it's just, it's, it's in branded in me as a Tennessee kid. So I don't, I'm out on it, to be honest, which I let young me old guy. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, yeah. not a huge, well, I'm an old geezer. I'm not a big <laughs> fan of it. But at the same time, if you're going to do it, wear something that looks good. I, I think if Tennessee went with an alternate uniform, everybody's done it now. Okay, mm -hmm. fine. I just don't think that's a very pretty uniform. You really like it. Yeah. You like that uniform. You wore that uniform. Yeah, and in 2013, Marlon voted for us to wear that uniform. <laughs> he denied that off air. He denied hey, that off air. First yeah. of all, they got a different gray uniform than what we wore. But anyways, go ahead. Uh, was that was the Adidas. They yeah, had we the was white Adidas. around yeah, the orange, yeah. which made yeah. the orange pop. Um, but when I think of that uniform, I, I still remember that four to win. And... Yep. You all, maybe that's just by in Sterling's brains. We only remember the good parts. I don't remember, you know, the bad. <laughs> that's losses. a good way to describe you. But, yes. <coughs> you know, I, I always say that I love them with an asterisk. Like you don't want that to become something that you're deciding between the week that it becomes a bigger decision than what the game is. I think something like this, put your alternates out there, have your seniors vote on it in the middle of summer, have it set. Then when you go into the game week, you know what it is. A huge part of this is simply recruiting. I mean, th there was a really interesting piece. I think it was The Athletic, free plug for Ubbins publication. Uh, I think The Athletic did a thing, uh, or website, I should say, uh, where they talked to coaches who said this whole photo shoot thing that now that the recruits oh, do is getting yeah. out of hand, and players don't even, they don't even look around campus. They just show up. It's like, when's the photo shoot? Mm -hmm. Give me the craziest uniform you got. And we sit there and do that in front of a Ferrari, mm -hmm. and then they leave town and never come back. Um, <laughs> I, to me, that part of it is kind of silly, but I will ask, and Marlon, I know your answer to this already, so I'll ask Sterling and Daniel. Okay. All right. Uh, I think if you're going to do this with Tennessee, I've always thought that their baseball uniform where they wear cream and orange is out of sight, and they wore kind of a creamish, brownish color in 1938-39. All right, wear cream with it. All right. What if you're, if you're trying to be the state team of Tennessee, sort of a red, white, and blue like the Tennessee State flag thing. I'm just throwing out nonsense here. This isn't stuff I would mention. The cream I like. The red, white, and blue, not so much. But my question is, if you're going to do it, do you think they should just open it up instead of saying it's always gray? Do you think they should open it up to other colors, uh, or is gray your I, thing? I, I think adding in the cream would be great because of what Tony's team has been able to do in baseball. But also I mean, looks good. Even though we always bring back the guy that sings God Bless the USA every year, I still think we leave that uniform <laughs> on the side. We've got Al for that. Um, but you need to have some variance to it because, 
at the end of the day, it's about making money. The UT has to bring in the best recruits, and then when the best recruits come in and they play well and they get developed well, yes. you get more seats in the stadium. And I mean, that's why the new Jumbotron's up there is to bring more people there to compete with people at home. You gotta have the recruits to do that. And with the new Big Ten deal, Tennessee may need to sell more jerseys <laughs> to keep up with Northwestern <laughs> and Rutgers. Money-wise, wow. Sterling, would you open it up to other colors, or would you just say, no, gray's our thing, you or know, do you I, like black? Gray, or? I, if you open it up to other colors, you, you, you limit to what you do in the course of a season. But, I, you know, I, I'm a guy who just loves whatever gets the guys ready to play more, whatever gets the fans louder inside the stadium. I love that stuff. You know, I mean, if you got a team worried for one second about what you're going to wear, that one <laughs> second could easily be a touchdown. So, I mean... We did it in high school. We had three uniforms. We changed them every now and then. even changed it at halftime sometimes. And it, it worked out for us. It kept us motivated and just more excited about playing the game. And it worked for us. And so I, that's where I come from. That's what my background is. All right. Very good. Very good. Marlon, are you going to say something or are you good? My, my, my issue is if you open it up, now how soon before you start messing with the T on the side of the hill? Oh, you go online and you'll it, see everybody's it, got an idea. Exactly. And so for me, it's, it's uh, if, if the, good, the, the good teams in the SEC can do it, Alabama, LSU, all the rest of those suckers, they just won national championships and they got the same kind of uniform. I think now it's more uh, your product on the field, what the coaching staff is doing, but, not your uniform. But talk about how excited you were in the black jersey. October 31st when Monetary Hardesty hit that spin move. And then i also tell you how unexcited I was. Our senior year, we had the gray zone, and we lost senior night. <laughs> <laughs> All I could think about was get these dogs. Vanderbilt. <laughs> he remembers Florida. You remember yeah. Vanderbilt. Yeah. All right. When we come back, uh, let's talk with Ryan Callahan about Tennessee recruiting. It was a good week for the volunteers, especially their secondary. Uh, we'll take a look. We'll even have a listen to somebody. Next, come on back on the Sports Source.